night travelers i'm Anne's daughter lego and i've just got home from work so i have a night flight tonight not the ideal especially coming from work so what could be helpful for you to do before you leave i like to leave my apartment looking like how i would like to see it when i come back so the shoes i've just taken off i'm still umming and ahhing if i'm gonna take them with me ah, i feel like a blister's coming on which is terrible to take away on holiday and you, my work handbag i do need to change out my wallet this morning before i went to work i did some washing so this is all dry these towels are all dry also like to have clean sheets on my bed because it's just always a little curl up and then when you get home packed last night i'm only taking a carry-on because it's just a short break away and basically now i you know have to stay up the whole night effectively um i find that Especially in the Middle East, they really seem to love these middle of the night flights. When I take a shower before I leave tonight, ready for bed. Other problem that I have with Middle East flights is because, <laughs> and this is coming from New Zealand, we are like the closest place is Australia and that's three hours away. So because the flights are so short, <laughs> even though I'm doing a layover, like you don't get a chance to sort of get into it before you're getting off again and I do have a layover and it literally is the middle of the night so today is very disruptive and basically it means I arrive daytime tomorrow but how am I gonna feel so I really want to minimize feeling crap I'm gonna snooze just now and I will set my alarm <laughs> because yeah I definitely I have to order some food um I want to come back to an empty fridge <laughs> which I am almost there Look. I've got water, water, okay that cheese can stay, I can have some salad and I've got a little bit of hummus but I don't have any bread. So I'm going to order something off Talibat that's just I can eat today. Dishes this morning so I need to put them away so there's a few things that I did try and do this morning before I left for work to try and minimise the things I would have to do after work like more washing. <laughs> I looked up the weather of where I'm going and I just want to like have as few clothes as possible because I am just doing my carry-on wheelie suitcase. I looked up things to do, I literally just sat there and googled. I also watched some other travel YouTubers on their recommendations so I've got a little list of what I would like to do. A couple of question marks <laughs> and I did book one tour for the middle day that I'm there although it does say you need to print it out I don't have access to a printer please we're in 2020 come on now I literally booked this flight yesterday <laughs> and I'm leaving tonight and I've had to work as well so it is a bit that's also why I've had to do some research I made a little shopping list of things that I would like to get so I did see a couple of youtubers um, they were talking about the prices where I'm going and I do do that like I did in South Africa so I do buy things especially in cheaper countries and where I am in Kuwait gosh most things are more expensive also checking in online make sure you've done that flying with Qatar tonight in economy class so yes please check out the next video because it will be a review of that as long as I don't fall asleep for some reason and it's nice of them they've sent me an email saying we're gonna check your credit card which I'm like really really I had already pre-selected my seats I always look at seatguru.com to see the different layouts of the planes and especially since it's a night flight then I want to make good choices I like to have a window seat which is pretty much everything I always have but occasionally I will have an aisle seat with a night flight. Currently I cannot close it. <laughs> this is literally where I've taken my camera out and I still have to put my cell phone in. So I and my keys. Oh that's also the thing. Empty your wallet. Take out what you don't need. I've got my money that I need to exchange in there, my cash ready to go. Cash also to pay the driver tonight. So all of these things, I charged all your stuff last last night, I charged my headphones so they are ready to go and passport is just loosely in there and I've got my face masks all ready to go because why not and I've got this, I don't know if I'm going to sleep but I do love these steaming eye masks, there's one thing I miss about not on living up this side of Asia. <laughs> don't have access to these goodies these are literally things that I took when I or bought for myself when I 
left China and thankfully they're doing me all right. I'm also still got my jet lag pills. Well, there is a review of these. They are a New Zealand product, but definitely another time when I can put them to the test. Having limited sleep and having interrupted sleep is not great. I have also looked up what's on board of my flight because I like to know what movies there are, especially with some of those touch screens. They're not as responsive as you'd like. So if I know what I'm going to watch, I've also looked up ahead of time because as you know, I have priority pass for my layover. So to get a sense of what the lounge offers, I pay for priority pass outright. I have a lot of American viewers. I have to be mindful of that. Some of the lounges are a bit hit and miss. I do have some lounge reviews that I've done that are on the priority pass. I love my lounge access. It makes flying so much better. And definitely tonight having a layover knowing that yeah I don't have to spend money to get like water can just chill out and be able to charge my phone and just you know have nice toilet facility all of those things that really just add to it this is this is the time when I really am so grateful to have priority pass now a friend of mine went and had a massage before her flight her night flight and said it was amazing. Yesterday I messaged my bank, told them I'd be out of the country, take the rubbish out. These are such mundane tasks, but we all have them. It really is just organizing so that you feel better when you return. I'm sure if you've got a family, the list is never ending. I mean, I love not planning stuff in advance. I've definitely done that kind of holiday too, but I feel a bit better about considering this time yesterday. I was like, huh, what? I'm going where now? <laughs> I feel a bit better that I've like n at least narrowed it down. Things I definitely want to see. I've booked this tour. I hope that you found this helpful and that some of the things on my list you're like, oh yeah, I should definitely do that before I leave. Also have Googled today how to get from the airport to my hotel. So I've looked up like, is there free Wi-Fi in the airport so I can call an Uber? Um, or like was the bus gonna be better but I think I'm just gonna uber it so finding out all of those sorts of things especially when you haven't been there before hi can I please have a hair appointment can I please have a massage appointment and a hair appointment what time do you open okay that'll be great we'll see you then thank you check check but after I arrive food that I can eat immediately. Very waste. See you salmon. Clothes ready to put on for the airport. I'm ready to go. I've got my little bag here, which is I've taken a couple of things out, but it's still stupidly over full that it won't close. And now that I've weighed my suitcase, we know that I'm overweight as usual. Change the camera. That's gotta go straight in there because I don't need that. 